The icing on your organization wedding planning cake is the hard copy system I'm sharing with you now. This is the final video of our three part series on getting your wedding plans organized. This is the best video of the three, so don't miss it. But if you need to catch up on the first two, here's the wedding planning calendar and the electronic folder system. I'm Adrian, wedding coordinator and founder of Uncommon Camellia Weddings. This is the place to guide you through planning your wedding. Subscribe, hit that notification button, and let's get planning. Like the past two videos in the wedding organization series, I'm continuing to show you how to organize your wedding without purchasing all these binders and books and planners. Stay to the end and I'll tell you how to enter our giveaway for the exact hard copy filing system that I am showing today. This system is gonna make you pretty happy right now, but so happy the month of your wedding. You will need some supplies to get this job done. Three file folders, three adhesive two inch prongs, a two hole punch, a set of repositionable colored tabs, and all of the wedding stuff that you've accumulated thus far. We're going to create three folders to organize and file your plans, making them easy to store away or pack in your bag whenever needed. You'll have a folder for your wedding dreams, a folder for your wedding plans, and a handoff folder for your coordinator, whoever will help you run the actual wedding day. Start by punching your folders and adding the adhesive prong. This is how you will keep all of your items secure in the folder. Label the folders dreaming, planning, and handoff. Now let's begin organizing your wedding dreams. So gather any hard copies that you have from dreaming about your wedding and separate them into piles. Just as I explained in the electronic folder system, part two of the series, the dreaming folder includes everything that's not finalized. So you don't need a hard and an electronic copy of everything in your dreaming folder. Just use what you have. If you don't have anything yet, just skip this step. There's no specific order for this. That's the reason that you're using removable tabs. As you get the items, add a label from this label list and add it to the folder. These are the tabs most commonly used. And these are the same tabs as we used in the electronic folder system. You're gonna go through these wedding dreams and ideas and organize them in this folder. So favors, honeymoon dreams, ceremony music selections, any specialty vendors your hair and makeup, a floral, if you have a bouquet that you love, put it in there. If you're already figuring out which songs you're gonna use for your first dance, include that under your band and DJ. The officiant has information, video, photography, any vendor research you're putting in here, catering and bar if you've got a company you're eyeing, your coordinator info, if you're looking at different hotel possibilities, stick that in here. Any drafts for your invitations, for your venues, any pictures, brochures, things that you've seen, any of the parties that you're gonna have, showers or your bridal luncheon or your rehearsal dinner, all that goes under parties. For your guest list, you just wanna start gathering lists and addresses from your parents and your fiance's parents and your fiance and just putting them all in here. It doesn't have to be in order, you just wanna have something there. Any clippings from gowns that you love, you could put in a tire. If you're starting to look at registries or things you wanna register for, include that. For your wedding party, start listing who you're gonna invite and how you're gonna invite them. Any sizing information or just special things about your wedding party that you want to include. In the calendar section for the dreaming folder, you're really looking at things that you don't wanna miss. So if you wanna put the NFL football schedule in there or the Mardi Gras schedule, or any festivals that are happening in the same city as your wedding. All of that's gonna help you make decisions about when to have meetings and when to have your events. In the design section, I'm putting magazine clippings or paint swatches, anything that kind of just goes into how you want the feel for the day. For the budget, if you've worked on a budget setting worksheet, you can put that here, or if you have drafts of an old budget, maybe you have a friend who shared their wedding budget with you. Put that in there for a reference. Even like budget tips or money saving hacks, all of that include in the budget section. Now I'm using a specific order that matches the electronic folder system, but your order can be custom for you. It doesn't matter how it's set up. I just wanna make sure that when I get new information, I put it in the right category. Also, you don't need every item I listed. Use what you need and skip the rest. Next, let's begin organizing your wedding planning folder. In this folder, there should never be an old draft of anything. Include only the most up-to-date versions of your documents here. Save old versions in that dreaming folder. All right, so I'm sticking a gifts list in here first. That's our tracker for thank you notes. And then any finalized favors, the confirmed honeymoon plans, 
your final contract with the bakery, maybe a sketch of what the cake should look like, your final contract with the rentals and the rentals list, any information on deadlines to cancel or modify, and include those in that Google Calendar too. In the second line section, you'd want your final permits, transportation, the trip info, in the specialty vendor, make sure the final contract is there if you have a specialty vendor. So like specialty vendors would be a live painter or a snowball stand, just anything that's a little out of the ordinary that isn't a typical wedding vendor. Under ceremony music, you've got your selections, your final contract, then under hair and makeup, final contract, and a list of who is getting what services, and any pictures of how you want your hair and makeup to look. Under floral, final contract, and design specifications. For the band and the DJ, aside from the final contract, I'd also want any specific songs you want played, put that in your planning folder. For the officiant, a ceremony outline along with their final contract. For the videographer, it's the same as photography. They both need a final contract and a shot list. Catering and bar, make sure you have the contract, but also you need a menu and a listing of if they're providing any rentals. So you have more of a proposal, something a little more in depth that has your menu on there. Put your coordinator contract in here and your hotel block contracts. For your stationery, this is where you put your final proofs, so what you're actually using. For your venues, you just want the layouts, the contracts, and the actual proposal for the finalized agreement with the venue. In the party section, you've got the finalized plans for your bridal luncheon, your bachelorette or bachelor party, or any parties that you're in charge of. In the guest list, you only have the most up-to-date version of your guest list. So if you print out a new one, get rid of the old one or put it in that dreaming folder and just have the most up-to-date one in this planning folder. Under attire, you want your receipt or your confirmation for the actual wedding attire that you and your fiance have purchased. Don't put the picture of your dress in here, obviously. Under registry, you just want that basic information that tells people where you're registered so you can pass that on. The Google Calendar, you want to print out the most up-to-date version and have it inside this planning folder. So anytime you're going to a planning meeting, make sure you have your most up-to-date calendar printed out. Yeah, it's in your phone. Yes, you can reference it, but sometimes it's nice to have a quick reference when you're in that sort of meeting. Under your wedding party, I want you to have a quick reference with a list of all of your attendees, their basic contact info, their address, their email, their phone number, any sizes. You know, this is something where you're at Old Navy and you see a pair of flip-flops that are just like the perfect color for your dress and you want to get everybody a pair of flip-flops. Well, have all their sizes on you in a place where you can reference. You're not texting everybody and trying to figure things out last minute. Okay. In your planning folder, the design section is very important and it should also be one page. So in the dreaming folder, you have all this stuff printed out. You have a Pinterest board that's full of ideas. But here in the planning folder, you just want a quick reference to show your wedding professionals the general feel that you're trying to achieve for your wedding. And finally, your budget should be in the very front. I'd include the budget setting worksheet, check it out if you haven't done that yet, and then also your working budget. Again, it does not matter what order all of this is in, just keep the color pattern going as you add new tabs. I've pre-printed my tabs so you can easily read them in this video, but I suggest just using a Sharpie and handwriting your tab titles. As you plan, continue to add all of your finalized plans and current drafts to this folder. But remember to remove all drafts and anything outdated. The last and final folder, my favorite, because this is the folder that as a coordinator makes me so much more effective at my job. I create a client folder just like the one I'm about to show you for every client I have. If you're using Uncommon Camellia as your coordination company, you only would need to send these contents to your coordinator. She'll organize it. However, if you're not hiring a coordinator or going with a different company, go ahead and create this folder yourself. The handout folder has all the documents necessary to run the wedding day and nothing else. Things like your honeymoon plans and your stationary proofs, your guest list, they don't belong here. They should not be in here because it's not necessary to run the wedding day. Start by adding all your vendor contracts and any specifications. So this is the same stuff that's in your planning folder, but a copy and only the necessary stuff to run the wedding day. So go through all of those vendors, make copies, and put them in this handoff folder. 
after all of the vendors at the front, you should have a copy of if you have a decorations list or decor list and any specifications that should be there. And then the layouts for the venues, the ceremony and the reception. And then you want an information sheet that outlines the wedding party and all your family members, all the venues that are involved, all of the addresses, and then a detailed wedding day timeline. So this handoff folder serves as the easy reference for the wedding professional team on wedding day. If there is something you plan that needs to be known on wedding day, it's got to be in this folder and organized very plainly. After you create all three of these folders, keep them in a filing cabinet and use them as your only place for hard copies of wedding items. This will be your wedding planning command center. This is the final video in the wedding planning organization series and definitely my favorite one. As promised, I wanted to share how to be part of the giveaway. Just follow our Instagram page, find the giveaway post, like and comment, and you'll be entered to win our giveaway for a custom hard copy filing system. Thank you for watching and happy wedding planning.